Sometimes I get asked what's the best backup for Microsoft 365, Azure and some of those other platforms. So in this episode, I'm checking out AFI, Backup, Restore and Archiving Solutions, which is low cost and will, which will just blow you away. Stay tuned and you'll learn something. everyone, how are you? Welcome to the channel. I really do appreciate you dropping by. Well, a few weeks ago, I did a session on Microsoft 365 backup and archiving, and I had so many comments uh, back saying, Andy, it's an okay solution, but it's very expensive. So you got me thinking, is there an alternative out there? So I've been looking at various options, and I came up with this one. This is AFI backup, AFI.ai, details down below. They do a really low cost backup solution for a minimum of three users great if you've got business premium but again it covers all of those different plans in addition if you've got google if you've got for example microsoft azure there's also plans for that as well so in this episode i thought i'd take you through exactly how to set it up how to configure it what it does and of course how you can back up and restore and do archiving uh, of your data now if you have questions and comments i would love that so get that uh, down below and if you've not subscribed well go ahead click on that subscribe button up there ring that bell and come and join my learning community so i think without any further jibber jabber i think we better get started and have a look at the amazing afi okay connecting is very simple you can connect to google workspace microsoft 365 kubernetes amazon web services and of course microsoft azure i'm going to kick off with microsoft 365 so let's go so i'm just signing in and i'm going to sign in with my global admin account so i just simply click on install very simple process select that uh, global admin account um, again if you've got mfa all of that it will prompt you you get a fairly extensive list of permissions of course that you need to grant the application uh, and of course this is for backup and restore purposes once you've done that again just reconfirm your authentication once you've done that stage two is it's just setting up the application again this just takes a few moments Note the links on the bottom of the page there for technical support and also the knowledge base. They've got a really good knowledge base here. Next, you've got your location options. Here you've got the USA, Canada, the UK, Netherlands, Australia, along with a multi-geo option to choose from. So I'm just gonna simply click OK and then just click Next. And again, after a few moments, AFI is now ready to rock and roll, as they say. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to apply a profile or service level agreement to the resources that you want to protect. These come in three flavors, gold, silver and bronze. And as you can see, each have their uh, list of what they're going to protect, how often they're going to protect per day. And of course, uh, you can also create your own if you want to. I'm going to accept just the three uh, options that are there. And then the next thing we need to do is, of course, we need to assign them to the resource. So if I click into the protection tab, you can assign, you can filter by users, groups, mailboxes, groups and teams, enter ID, and of course, the power platform there as well. I'm just going to click on all here. I, again, you can select each individual attribute here. For example, users, specific users, you can select all. I can come in and as you can see, I can choose to uh, assign that protection, that SLA. So I can choose, for example, silver if I want to do that here. Alternatively, of course, I can do this by group if I want to as well. So I can just pop up here onto the left-hand side. And if I click onto the Enter ID group, we get a, a list of groups. Now, of course, you can do this as granular as you want. I can select them all. But you might want to have different kind of SLAs for different types of groups, of course, with compliance. You know, if you're in banking, finance, uh, oil and gas, and so on. 
So I'm going to select my 365 group and I'm going to assign that SLA. And you can see again, I'm just going to choose the silver SLA and automatically protect any new resources. So again, if you're using dynamic groups, those resources will be automatically protected when any new members join. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and kick off a backup just so that we've got some historical data here so that I can show you some of the restore features and also what happens after the backup. So now that that's completed, you can see the activity screen here with the overview page and it's showing me that 30% of my resources have been backed up. Now, if you wanted to back up everything, of course, you could just click on this very simple button and this will just back up your entire tenant, which is super simple. But just for the purpose of the demo and to speed things up, I've kept it individually. So now that I've done that again, I can come down here to the activity and this just provides me with an activity log as well as auditing. If we've got any alerts, any kind of configuration, so things like notifications, again, you'll find your licensing and building billing details down at the bottom. So going back up to the service, the next thing that we want to do is obviously look at restores. So here I can select individual users or all users if I want to and do a complete backup of all of their content in association with the customer's SLA agreement. So if I click on to recovery, you can see I can do an per item recovery. I've also got access to Adele's OneDrive here, her contacts, her calendar, her chats. So if anything went astray, you know, it's very comforting to know that I can simply go in here, help her, and I can recover all of that content accordingly for her. And of course, this is all through Exchange Online. Now, the other thing we can do, we can download her data or you can just simply recover. So if you want to download it, get a copy of it and so on. You can go back to a previous point in time, irrelevant of how far back, as long as you pay your license, your data will be backed up accordingly, uh, according to your rules. And we'll look at those in a moment. Coming back into the protection tab, what about sites and groups and teams, for example? So you can see if I come into my Microsoft 365 groups, and of course I've got a group here or a team called Oslo Sales. So with Oslo Sales, I can come in once again, I can choose to either back up or I can recover again items from that. So you can see I can come in, I can restore, for example, individual folders. I can drill right down. This one's got nothing in it at the moment, but you can also restore things like the site content. So for example, a SharePoint document library. So again, really simple. You simply just select the folder. Again, as before with Adele's account, you've got the option to come up and download. So make a copy of that data and also you can recover the data and also you've got that point in time option above. Now, in addition, of course, it's a team, it's a group. You've got the option to go in and restore group emails as well. So group emails, for example, within Teams or in Microsoft 365 groups, it's great to know that I can go in and I can not just download them. So, for example, maybe we've got a problem with a customer. I can also recover them as well. So you can choose to recover individual items. You can re And the clever thing is you can restore this or recover this to a different resource. So for example, somebody's left the organization, somebody's taken over their job, you can recover the mailbox items to that new person. I can recover the full resource or only specific messages or specific files. So extremely granular in what you can do here. So a common question that I get is, Andy, with the protection settings, can I customize any of these gold, silver and bronze packages? And the answer is, of course you can. You can simply just click onto them. You can call these anything that you want. You can add and remove items that you want to back up and restore. You can also add in your own exclusions as well. You can customize the schedule so you can, how many times you want to back up. When do you want to do those backups? Again, for retention. So again, depending on the industry that you're in, so aviation, oil and gas, 
pharmaceuticals, you may have legal requirements in order to back up. For example, tax authorities, you might need to back up after seven years, you know, up until seven years, or archive, I should say. And at the end of that archive period, the data would then be deleted. Now, in this case, we're just retaining everything. Just a quick word about data encryption. You can use the internally managed key or you can bring your own key for additional security. So the other settings, if I go into info, you'll find your tenant information, of course, the app information. Then you've got your admin consent, which we've already done in the apps pane. This is interesting. So as you know, 365 can integrate with many third party apps. So it's super easy to go in and just add that third party app in here. Uh, that is absolutely awesome, by the way. One of my favorite features is the access groups. Of course, administrators will have access to all resources, backup operators for backing up and self-service, meaning that your users can restore their own files and emails, therefore reducing the burden on admin. In secrets, of course, it gives you details of your encryption key. This is your key that protects all of your data. And if you want to do single sign-on to the likes of Otka or SAML, you can do that from here as well. Now, one of my favorite features is the global search feature here. So you can simply search for any users. So uh, for example, if I've got a user called Adele, um, you can see because I'm using Alex and Adele, basically it's finding two mailboxes here. Now, as you can see, it takes me straight into Adele's mailbox. I can see her backup at the moment. I'm viewing her emails, but again, you can filter that exactly as to what you want to view. The other thing you can also do, of course, is you can download her details. So if you, for, you know, you're doing a digital investigation, or maybe you just need to export some data out for business reasons, you can choose selected individual messages, or you can download the entire search results. And you can export that individual item as a PST, a personal store. Now, as well as that, you've also got other formats that you can export data out. So for example, if you needed to perform a digital investigation, I suppose one important point here to remember is that you don't even need IT to restore items. Users can actually do it themselves, which is super convenient and will save so much time for your IT guys. So the other thing that I wanted to mention is the activity. And as you can see here, we have a list of all the different mailboxes, all the different items that have been done. You can put in a start and an end date. So if you just wanted to search for specific items within a specific date time period, you can do that here as well. Over here on the right hand corner, uh, you can see that at the moment we're viewing these things by tasks. And as I said, for granular reasons, you can just click onto this and it gives you a little bit more detail. Now, in addition, we've also got the auditing tab here as well. So for security reasons, again, just gives you a little bit more detail on who did what, where, when, and how. And you can also see if there were any admin configuration settings as well. So I'm just using a demo tenant here, but you can see it shows me that the tenant was added. We started with a brand new, uh, of course, AFI portal here. So this is brand new. So there's not a lot of activity in there at the moment. So as well as activity, we've also got alerts. So I can come in here and if there was any kind of issues, any kind of service or security alerts, this is indeed where they would come. So next is the configuration tab. And in here, this is obviously where you might want to send reports, you know, for the various products that you're working with. And you can send a, a little test report there if you want to. Now, reporting is super important, especially in the cloud world, because in many cases it's for compliance and governance reasons. So I can go ahead and I can switch the reporting feature on. In here, you can also configure your administrators. So at the moment, I've only got one administrator in terms of a global admin for this particular AFI product here. But again, you can go in and you can add in additional administrators and you can set the different scope of, a, of administration, whether you want full permissions 
or backup operators as you saw earlier. Now, in addition to that, if we have any connectors to third-party apps, this is where you would find those apps here. And again, you've got that same option as before. You would provide the URL, the website details of the app. Again, if it was something like Zoom or some third-party app like that. Next, we have notifications. And as you can see, uh, you can be notified if there's any licensing, very useful, of course, security. If there is any ransomware issues, that is super important, by the way. And also any kind of system modifications, notifications you want to be notified of. If you're integrating with a SIEM system, security incident and event management for the likes of Splunk or one of these other platforms, again, you can just provide the token details there and again you can also configure your own access policy so this is kind of cool almost like conditional access you can pop in here and set up an allow list uh, either by IP address or country so that's quite useful um, additionally you've also got the capabilities to do a SAML uh, only account. So if you're doing SSO, single sign-on, this can be really useful here. Finally, on the info tab is just info about your organization. And again, sharing anonymous diagnostics to improve the service. This, of course, is a feature in AFI. Final tab here is the licensing tab. So this gives you all the details about your subscriptions. I'm just on a trial at the moment for this demo. Uh, you can see any kind of payment options that you've set up here, billing information, invoicing, and so on. So it really is very, very easy to kind of uh, find your way around. So there you have it, AFI backup, restore, and archiving in one package for 365, Azure, Google, and all those other platforms. Hey, listen, I really hope you found this session useful. And if you've got questions and comments, don't forget you can get those down below. And if you've not subscribed, go ahead, bump that subscribe button. Remember, give me a big like, it does help the channel. That's it for this time. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you real soon. Take care.